Mike Moore Media. I'm talking to Kathleen Patterson, Mayadan Town Manager, our monthly podcast. She's on the line right now. Hey, Kathleen. Hey, Mike. How are you? I'm okay. We're saying our monthly podcast, but this is our last monthly podcast because you're leaving at the end of the month. So we're going to miss you. But uh, thanks for your two years of uh, service to the town of Mayadan and the citizens and uh, all of the good things you've done. We appreciate that, Kathleen. Well, I appreciate y'all letting me be a part of the community, and um, hopefully one day I will be able to come back and be a part of it again. Oh, well, that will be great. Okay. Well, right now we're looking at some changes in town government uh, with you leaving, and Mm -hmm. uh, the search continues, I guess, for um, uh, a town manager, and I know that's advertised on the, uh, the league website. I've mm-hmm. looked at that myself. Um, not that I'm interested and in nowhere qualified, but I, I thought it's it's interesting when I um, when Buck um, Shelton, your um, uh-huh. mayor, mayor pro tem, uh, was telling me that, that where that is, and I know applications are being forwarded to him. I went to mm-hmm. that. I'm amazed at how many positions there are available around the state there uh, in in um, in local county city government it's it's a lot of a lot of openings there is i think um government like other you know industries where we're looking for people from everywhere from entry level positions all the way to the top mm-hmm. um so anybody that's interested in maybe making a switch um you know it's it's a very fulfilling career to be a be a part of the community that you serve um it's very much a public servant moment where you're um, you, you don't make a lot of money. The The benefits are all on the back end when you retire, um, but it is definitely worthwhile. Um, but, yeah, you, pretty much every town and every county in North Carolina and even the state mm-hmm. is looking for people. Um, like I said, it's very much like a lot of other industries that are all looking for workers trying to trying to keep us going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, we have a new mayor, uh, someone who's been mayor before, so uh, that, that's good. And uh, a, a new member of town council, and I'm looking forward to meeting him. So bring us up to date on all that. Yeah, so um, Chad Wall was our mayor. He resigned um, at, the, at the February agenda meeting. He has um, His business has just uh, started booming, and he um, just felt like it was time for him to step down um, so that they, again, that they could have – um, a mayor that can really focus and pay attention to that, um, and you know we will miss him. Chad was a wonderful mayor and did a great job. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the replacement that they chose was Dwight Lake, and I'm sure that he's going to be a wonderful mayor for y'all as well. And it's just a, I look forward to watching all of the wonderful things. Um, he jumped right in both feet, so he's already um, making making things happen. So we're yeah. looking forward to that. Um, and then the, he's um, one of our younger council members, so. Um, to the thing, he's been on the fire department for a long time, so a great volunteer there, um, landowner in town, and has a pharmacy in Madison, and just a really all-around good person, and we're really excited to have him on. Yeah. And um, they told me a little factoid I didn't know. It's actually the youngest um, city council that Mayadan has ever had. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And we had a little um, little uh, clip there. So his name again is? John Miller. John Miller. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, youngest uh, member of the uh, town council. How about that? Well, uh, yeah. on a whole, the town council is the youngest they've ever had. Uh-huh. So, um, you should look for some interesting things to be happening. So, uh-huh. I think Mayadan is a, has always been a full of potential and poised. And I think that you have a very focused town council that um, is going to lead you in great directions. Sure. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, observing uh, observing that board in the meetings and just seeing uh, where they are and how they work and uh, interact, and it's great to have uh, Dwight back as Dwight Lake back as mayor. So that that's great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. Well, uh, what's happening around uh, around town? I know there's a new event coming up. You wanted to talk about. Yeah, so they've um, they've actually got a fun event. I think this is probably the first one. So um, our at Ferris Memorial Park, they're working on creating an Easter egg hunt. Um, so they've got a brand new Facebook page for Ferris Memorial Park as well as an Instagram. So you can follow those and kind of catch up on all that they're doing. Um, it's Ferris Memorial Park um, underscore official because there's one hanging out there that we don't know who owns it, but it's not us. Yeah. And, um, and then a, an Instagram account under the same name. Um, but they have a wonderful young lady that joins staff with us back in November, Macy Hurd, and she is um, taking, kind of taking over their communication. You'll see a lot more coming out from the park, telling you all the things that are happening and the wonderful good things that they're doing. So 
um, just kind of look for um, information on that, and uh, it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be a great day. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell us. I want to want to make sure we're on the right Facebook page. So what is that again, Kathleen? It is it is Ferris Memorial Park, and then underscore official. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's the one I, I looked at recently. So yeah, I, I'm on the right one. So I'm good. All right. Well, good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. All yeah, right. They're doing a good job, and then. Their arts and crafts is going to be, the arts and crafts market is going to be April the 27th, so they'll have that up there as well. Um, and then, you know, good news for everyone, including all of our restaurants and everything, the NICA race is going to come back, and we've got at least two um, this year. So we'll have one in April and one in May. Um, so that's, a, that's always a, a good moneymaker for that. And then our downtown merchants are actually going to start a wonderful event. I've, I've been so looking forward to this, so I'm going to have to come back for this mm -hmm. one um, for sure. They're going to do music in the park at Elliott Duncan Park on the mm. first Friday, starting in May. Oh, so, wow. Okay. Um, look for that. That'll be really fun. Um, that's a great park. Um, I love uh -huh. Elliott Duncan. It's got a lot of wonderful uh, opportunities for people to, to utilize it. But first Fridays, May through, I believe it's September, May through September, and they're going to uh, um, bring music to uh, L.A. Duncan Park in the downtown Mandan. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We need more music <laughs> in our lives. We do. <laughs> yeah. We do. And then, um, and then bless their hearts, they know that I love it. It's a special for me, um, but Cars and Coffee will return in June as well. So mm -hmm. up at Ferris Memorial. So we've got a lot of, a lot of good things are starting to happen, um, and we're, we're really excited about that. Yeah, good. Okay. All right. And uh, the best way to find out, uh, you've given us the uh, – uh, the Facebook page for Ferris Memorial Park, uh, but mm -hmm. the best way to find out on social media for Town of Med Inn and the merchants and all of that would be what? Merchants have the Downtown Med Inn Merchants um, Facebook page, mm -hmm. um, and so have um, Elliot Duncan's tied into Ferris Memorial Park, so you can just check that one location and they'll be in good shape. And then what I'm what I'm endeavoring to do before I go anywhere is uh, make sure that the calendar actually is updated online on the website as well, so they can go to townofmayadan.com, um, hit the calendar, and be able to see those events online as well. Great. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for all of the good news. Anything else we need to mention? Um, no. I appreciate all that you've uh, done with me this past two years, and I'll, I will miss you, and I will actually miss everyone in. in um, it's a great town, and I look forward to watching it uh, um, grow and become fulfill all that great potential that it has. Yeah. Okay. Well, again, all the best to you and your family, and uh, we'll uh, hopefully see you somewhere along the way. Thanks, Kathleen. Amen. I'll be okay. back. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. All right. Uh, Mid and Town Manager Kathleen Patterson. Uh, she is leaving at the end of the month, some uh, family matters she needs to attend to, and we certainly appreciate her hard work here in uh, in the time she's been with us in Mayadan. Uh, please check out the uh, social media sites that she mentioned to uh, keep up with what's happening in town, and please support our hometown merchants. Shop in Mayadan. Shop local. 20 years ago, Tara and Casey opened Dan River Insurance Services, that's Tara Shelton and Casey Brown, looking on their Facebook page this morning. Uh, they're still going strong. The insurance ladies have helped lots of people over that 20 years. And uh, I wanted to take a moment here for them to say thanks to uh, their many loyal customers. Uh, always uh, glad to welcome new customers to Dan River offers a wide variety of insurance policies and coverage to help protect you, your family, home, and business. That's Dan River Insurance Services on North 2nd Avenue in downtown Mayadan. And then right across the street, we have Nadine Cobb, accounting and tax. Got to make an appointment with Nadine. She handles all of our business for Mike Moore Media and our uh, personal um, business, too, with uh, uh, accounting and uh, uh, all of the things that she does so well. And she can help you, too, uh, for businesses and individuals. It's Nadine Cobb Accounting and Tax. And you can uh, check her out at nccobbtax.com. N-C- um, ca in Cobb tax.com in for Nadine in Cobb tax.com for uh, Nadine Cobb and um, find out about the many services that she 
provides too. And she's a cantilever, just like Annette and I. So that's good too. Uh, thank you for listening to our podcast. And again, uh, please support our Mid in merchants, upcoming events, and uh, good events in town and at Ferris Memorial Park as well.